In today's video, we're going to be using Python coding to have a look at how if statements work. Now, if statements are known as conditional statements, and what this basically means is the computer is going to ask a question. If it is true, then the computer is going to run one section of code, but if it's false, it's going to run a different section of code. Okay, to explain how that works a bit better, let's have a look at the app we're making today. So it's a very simple weather report app. Okay, the computer is asking us, is it sunny outside today? So you've got two responses. You can either say, yes, it is sunny, or no, it's not sunny. So let's start by writing the word yes. If we write yes, the computer's going to run a piece of code to say, you'd better wear a hat today. Okay, well, let's run that code again now and see what happens when we say no. So is it sunny outside today? This time I'll say no. Press enter. And it comes out with a completely different line. It says, you'd better pack an umbrella today. Okay, so depending on what answer we type in, the computer's going to give us a different result. And that's how if statements work. Okay, we either run one section of code or another section of code. And let's get into the code now and actually write up a simple if statement. And you'll get a much better idea of how it's going to work. So in Python, I just want you to go to File and New File. And... We're going to start today by asking the user a simple question. Okay, so let's put in input so the user can input something or type in a response. The question we're going to ask, is it sunny outside today? Okay, actually I won't put a question mark, I'll just put a colon, put a space, close the quotation marks and close my brackets. Okay, that's going to ask a question to the user, is it sunny outside today? Okay, now the answer that they write in is going to be completely forgotten by the computer unless we store it inside of a variable. Okay, so I'm just going to go up to the start again, and I'm going to create a variable. Now you could call this variable whatever you want, but to keep it related to the weather, I might actually call it weather. And I'm going to write weather equals. Okay, so whatever the user writes in as their response here, that response is going to be stored inside the variable called weather. Okay. Now, a couple of lines down, we can begin our if statement. Okay, we know that we're going to get a response from the user. It's either going to be yes, that it's sunny, or no, that it's not sunny. Okay, so we need to now tell the computer what to do in both cases. So we start an if statement by writing the word if. And now we write in a condition. Okay, it's basically a, a test. So I'm going to test if the weather is equal to yes. Okay, let's break down this line here. So if the weather, so that's this variable up here, is equal to yes. Now you see I've written two equal sign there. That's not a mistake. When you're asking a question in Python, you need to use two equal signs side by side. You can't just write if weather equals yes. Okay, you'll get an error. So you need to do equals equals. So if the weather equals yes, this is what the user's typed in. Okay, so if the user types in yes, we then put a colon, and on the next line, we tell the computer what to do. Okay, now you'll find it, you'll find that your mouse cursor has been indented, and that's good, that's what we want. Okay, when you're inside an if statement now, you need to indent your code. Okay, so what do we want to do if the weather is sunny outside and the person has written yes, we're going to print, you'd better wear a hat today. Okay, close your quotation marks, close your brackets. So that's the first part of our if statement done. If the weather is sunny, so it's a yes, then we're going to print, you'd better wear a hat today. Now the next thing we're going to do is the other section of code if it's not sunny. Okay, so I want you to go down to the next line and backspace so you get rid of the indent. You're going to go back to the start of the line here, and we're going to write the word else. Put in a colon, and the next line we're just going to print, you'd, oh, I've got to spell this right, you'd better take an umbrella today. Close your quotation marks and close your brackets. And that's how this statement done. So let's have a look at this second part that we added in. Okay, the word else just means what else are we going to do if the weather is not sunny? Okay, so what else are we going to do? We're just going to print another line that says you'd better take 
an umbrella today. And that's it. Okay, so let's break this down one last time and we'll go and run it and see if it works. We've got a variable called weather. Okay, and when the user is asked if it's sunny outside or not, we're going to get a yes or no response. Okay, and that response is going to be stored inside the weather variable. Coming down to our if statement now, we run the test. Did the user write in yes, it is going to be sunny? If they did, then we're going to tell them to wear a hat. But if they didn't, so what else are we going to do? We're simply going to say take an umbrella because they must have wrote in no. And that's it. Okay, hopefully that makes a little bit of sense to you. All right, so I'm going to save that up. Um, I just want you to call it weather. And I want you to run it. Let's test this out. So is it sunny outside today? We'll just say yes. You'd better wear a hat today. And the other option is no. You can see you'd better take an umbrella today. It's as simple as that. That is if statements in its most simple form. You're not going to get much easier than that. In the next tutorial, we're going to step it up a notch and we're going to uh, display multiple if statements and different options at a time. Okay, so I'll catch you in that tutorial.